Hello Year 6, the day is Friday the 26th of February, the sun is shining, we're all dressed as rock stars in school and we're doing some poetry writing. Does it get any better than this? Possibly. First thing I've got here are some examples from yesterday's assignment, so work that was done in school and on teams, so some really good examples of the skills, the poetry features we looked at, uh, alliteration, similes, onomatopoeia and personification. So I've put together... I think there are 15 sentences or phrases here uh, from your work yesterday. So let's have a look at them. Rain blasted down, legs like jelly, boom, buildings burning like a volcanic eruption. Soldiers were terrified as if a lion was hunting them. The wind howled like a wolf, weary of wartime. Crack, pop, rifles and bones, smoke like from a forest fire, sharp shrieks of soldiers drowning in a deep green sea, tongues dry in the desert, roaring rotors of the fighter planes, flames dancing in the wind, muscles crying in pain, soundless shadows sneaked by, the battle boomed. You can actually mix all these lines up then, you can cut them out uh, and rearrange them so they can make different types of poem or diff uh, poems with a different focus. Um, see if you can have a go at that. If you either copy them out or you could print them off and cut them up and see which way you could arrange them to make a really effective poem. This is one way that you could arrange the uh, sentences or the phrases that people came up with. Um, now as I said there were 15 of them but one of the, some of the poems we looked at, you remember the title was the first line of the poem so I've come with this additional line here to make it four, lots of four, so four stanzas of four lines each. It's called Another Day in Hell. So, another day in hell, the battle boomed, rain blasted down, the wind howled like a wolf. Flames dancing in the wind, smoke like from a forest fire, roaring rotors of the fighter planes. Boom, buildings burning like a volcanic eruption. Crack, pop, rifles and bones, sharp shrieks of soldiers drowning in a deep green sea. Soundless shadows sneaked by, soldiers were terrified, as if a lion was hunting them. Tongues dry in the desert, muscles crying in pain. Legs like jelly, weary of wartime. Okay, so that's one way of arranging that work that we already have into a really powerful poem. So, as I said, there are different ways that you can rearrange these lines that really can be done quite effectively. You could also group the lines by type, so which feature they show. Well, we've got, here we've got the personification. Shadows sneaking, rain blasting, Flames dancing, muscles crying. We've got our alliteration, battle booming, roaring rotors, shrieks, sharp shrieks, weary of wartime. We have our similes here, and then some examples of onomatopoeia as well. So that's another way of grouping them. See if you can come with your own way to group these lines and perhaps make them into a form of your own. Another technique you can use is to have one sentence or phrase and see if you can come up with a rhyming couplet. So a second line that would turn it into a rhyming couplet. So we've got these four lines here, muscles crying in pain, smoke like from a forest fire, crack pop, rifles and bones, sharp shrieks of soldiers drowning in a deep green sea. See if you can pause the video and see if you can come up with, for those four lines, put those a bit closer together so you can see them on the screen. See if you can come up with a rhyming couplet for each of those. Pause the video now and I'll reveal my ideas afterwards. Here's that first one, muscles crying in pain, but the march begins again. Okay, so that's one option, you could have come up with a few other possibilities. Smoke like from a forest fire, bodies atop a funeral pyre. Pyre, a funeral pyre being something that's used in some countries around the world, a way of, um, instead of burying the dead, they would burn the dead atop a funeral pyre, so that's something we could use. Atop meaning on top of. Crack, pop, rifles and bones, air filled with a comrade's groans, comrading a fellow soldier. And this last one, sharp shrieks of soldiers drowning in a deep green sea, ceaseless hoots of shells in the battle raging around me. Okay, so all these ideas taken from the poems that we've looked at over the course of the week. That's the beauty of having things to, uh, to look through and find good examples of, because you're a magpie, some great ideas. So see if you can come up with your own rhyming couplets based on some of the lines that we've used 
in the last few lessons. Okay, so your task then is to write your own poem about the battle or about an aspect of World War One or Two. Now, you can use some of the lines that we've come up with and um, that I've shared in the video here. I've attached them to Teams as well. Or you can come with your own ideas, use your mind map and use your task B from yesterday's assignment. See what you come up with. So, love to see some of these poems finished and uploaded on Teams by the end of this week and we'll be doing some more poetry next week uh, so it'll be great to share some of them perhaps even pick one or two to share in Monday's assembly that's it for this week get on to TT Rockstars and let's get battling bye for now